what I've done is created a couple of traditional Morav no, Moravian stars. We actually, like Moravian. you said, looked up how to actually <laughs> pronounce it. So our first cut is going to make the two inch strip of glass. Your first cut, line up the little notch on your pliers and just gently squeeze and it breaks. Okay, so here's what we're doing here. These stars make really great holiday ornaments. So you could decorate like your Christmas tree or hang them wherever you might. Okay, when you're doing small breaks like this, you don't need to put your glass on the table, but just support it as you're breaking it. Make sure that the notch is lined up with your glass. Well, okay, so now we have our 12 pieces of glass. Now we're gonna foil them. When you start wrapping, start at the base, because we're not actually doing a regular panel project. You want to start as close to a place where it's going to be soldered as you can. So we're going to start at a bottom point, a base point. Center your glass in the middle of the tape. Kind of tack it carefully. And be careful when you're doing this because like a paper cut, a foil cut, well, a foil cut is way more painful than a paper cut. And for safety purposes, always have Band-Aids handy. <laughs> Overlap a tiny bit, and then trim. And then carefully go back, squeeze it down to the glass. I just use a regular wooden clothespin. Bend down your corners. If you have fingernails, you can use those to bend down the corners, but you can see I no longer have fingernails. Bend your corners down, kind of give it another little burnish. And then lay it on a hard surface. And here we have one finish. Now we can come back and also do the outer edge. Make sure that that's nice and solid. Use your graph paper as your pattern, or at least to help you put your stuff together. Now you can see from the pattern, this square is our template. Okay, we've got our first four pieces. I'm laying them texture side down, although ultimately it's not going to matter because you're putting so many pieces together that you're gonna have texture running all over the place. And you can try to keep all the texture to one side. You'll make yourself crazy. You can tape these in place, or you could even pin them in place if you've got push pins. Right. So here we go. So what we're doing essentially at this point is just anchoring everything into place. So we get a little bit of gel, gel flux on our brush. And when you're fluxing, don't go crazy. Just flux as much as you're going to be soldering. So you ready? And we're using our 50-50. And we're just going to anchor it in place. And we don't want to leave, we don't want to build up here because we're going to be attaching more pieces. So we want to anchor it without building up. Okay, so here is essentially the foundation of our whole entire star. No pressure. No pressure at all. Ta-da. Nice. 
Ta-da, yeah. I mean, that looks cool all on its own. 